Yo, it's me. It's me. It's Sai Zanzi. I love this guy. Sai Zanzi is making a name for himself. He's really killing it out there. Ooh, Summer Rae. Mike, for my money, she might have the best ass on all of IG. So this now was... Mike is broken up. He's a sex guy. And we heard him a little while ago in Red Bar trying to convince Corinna Kopp to start OnlyFans. Yeah, so Big Mike's been going around. I want to take back what I was saying about Summer Rae was a quote from another Red Bar listener. You had started talking afterwards, which was fine, but a lot of people <laughs> are going to be left thinking that what I said about Summer Rae was my quote. It was not. We uh, were talking about rear ends once on the show, the backside of these women, and uh, some guy said, oh, I think I understand. He goes, Mike, uh, you know, for my money, Summer Rae has got the best rear end, the best backyard of all these Instagram models, and I gasped it would be like if somebody around here said kim congdon is a nice clean you know white you forget about the buns i don't really uh like you operating my hot dog machine did you do you know what you're doing here how did you learn how to work it she knows how to open the door she could drive now too I'll tell you on the next episode, we'll tell you how I taught Jules how to drive from scratch. She's amazing. Okay, so uh, Summer Rae, right? Big butt model. She's got a unibrow. She's got alopecia. What's that disease you have where you start getting white spots? Big bleached out white spots. You see this. She has that? No. She has that, yes. Really? Or where it's like red blotches. Like the Michael Jackson thing? Yeah. Vitiligo? Vitiligo. She's got that, and she doesn't have alopecia. That's for sure. That's why I don't you know lose what all is. your hair. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's got a big poodle. Like what a doggy! You could see if somebody shot her with like a dog ray, you could see her like, um, totally turning into like one of those little dogs, like like the lady in the tramp dog. Kinda right. She seems like, like a nice shoot girl. summer ray with a dog ray, and she'll turn into a dog. It's exactly like her with like bright pink leggings. So um, she's on impulsive now. They're trying to coerce her into a life of uh, perversion with this OnlyFans. I don't know what's going on. It almost is like Mike and Logan are silent partners with OnlyFans. And they're trying to convince girls to do it. Or they want to convince a girl to do OnlyFans and then present them with a deal one better. Yes, OnlyFans. But you could trust them because it's run by Logan and I. It's called OnlyFans 2. Like, it almost seems like Big Mike and Logan have a secret OnlyFans type platform that they've, they're have they secretly rolling out and beta testing. So they're like, hey, Summer Rae, would you be interested in OnlyFans? If the answer is yes, would you be interested in OnlyFans 2? If the answer is no, may I ask why? Are you leaving so much money on the floor, you stupid idiot? So that's what we're going to see here today with Summer Rae. She's got a backyard on her that looks like one of the 1986 Chicago Bears running hey, around. she's not a sex model. She's a fitness model. Oh, fitness? Yeah, let me see if I could fit this in my house. No, I can't. Not even in the barn in the back. It's so wide. She's got the biggest rear end, and it's brown. It is coconut brown. So she has been basting this motherfucking ass in the hot Beverly Hills skies. It almost, Doesn't it look like they are constantly, you know, squirting on the juices to keep it nice and golden brown? It's so brown that you go... What color is the shit inside? Beige? Oh, right. so it's reversed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there can't be too much brown, no. so one has to change. Well, like black people ship pure white. Oh, right. A course. lot of people don't know that. Black people ship pure white skinny little logs. Here, I thought a seagull shit on my car. No, 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 no. Like a lot of rope that you see out there is like black people's shit. shit. Dungus. Oh, uh, yeah, like, serious, like um, for instance, like a lot of people, most twist ties, here's the thing that people don't know, 
most twist ties that you've seen are just black people's shit. Even if they're a different color? Even if they're forest green and attached to each other and provided at the grocery store next to the bags. You know, you're trying to get like a pound of gummy bears with that big silver scooper. Exactly. Black people shit people don't understand. They think they're taking massive fucking dumps, black people. They're not. Black people are taking so thin strands like a white strand of spaghetti is what comes out it's different we're not all the same it's like their nose is different their lips are different what is their shit a match of yours it's a <sighs> white long cord like strand that they have to twist off fuck yeah no idea so you don't want that crap clogging up your pipes that's why black people's toilets are so thin. You ever gone to a black person's house? Instead of having like a toilet bowl, they just have like a toilet pole. It, it, I think it looks like a gas line just coming out of the ground. I go, guys, what is this? Like a gas line or like a hot water line? It's like a bronze perfectly. Okay. Too, and they go, that's a toilet, nigga. I go, come on. How is that your toilet? If that's your toilet, the size of the toilet bowl is only like the size of a uh, you know, uh, like a licorice with. And they go, exactly, nigga, how wide your shit? How wide your shit? That's where I learned they're shooting those skinny white lines. Uh, black people are <laughs> shit skinny white lines into the toilet, no wiping needed. They can just beep, pull it right out. It's a skinny white cloth-like line. They don't even call it shit. They call it my line. My line. I don't give a line. Haven't you heard black? I don't give a line. So everything, if you've ever heard them say line, that's their shit. Like, I don't give a line. What the fuck is this line? They say, oh, it smells like line in here. Because it stinks still. It's got a whole different funk. Oh, what the fuck? It smells like line in here. And you're like, I don't know what line is. They're a bonic, whatever. We've ignored them for so long. That's what it means. Oh, so much is coming yeah. to light here. Yes. It all makes very, sense. Very long. Imagine a long twist tie with a wire in the middle and paper on the side. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen to this shit. Where do we go here? Okay. So Summer first Ray of all, here. look at that title they titled this episode. We want Summer Ray. Oh, my God. Listen to the title of this, this episode. We want Summer Rae on OnlyFans. That's what the title is. And this is a girl who's saying she does not want to do it. This is the title. We want Summer Rae on OnlyFans. How is this any different than like forcing a girl into a life of prostitution? I mean, really <laughs> think about this. What they're saying is, hey, Summer, you know how you got that body with them titties, that ass, and that hoe? Why aren't you photographing it? archiving it and selling it on the platform only fans for money and furthermore for us to see we want to see your parts you fucking bitch why is this appropriate to say to a girl imagine saying this to a grown woman not only do I want to see you naked I want to see you breaking the law and selling it I want to see you become a f imagine saying this to your friend Imagine you're watching a Nickelodeon show. It's a guy and a girl. He goes, you know what I want to see you do? Get completely naked and sell the pics and videos to everyone involved. I want them to see. Everyone on every, earth. To me, every nude photo, I kick it back to the 1980s. The same thoughts I had about nudes back then. How is this possible? How can you be naked in front of anybody? It's absurd. So then I uh, think to this, I go, I can't imagine you asking somebody and thinking that this is a casual thing to ask somebody like, so let me ask you this. You are a woman. You do have tits and the pussy. Do you not? Okay, let's. Why aren't you showing that to us for money? What is good? What? Do you hear what you said? Do you hear what you said? 
You're literally asking people as if it's a business decision as to why well, they're not showing. That's what they're going to try to frame it yeah. as. So basically this entire episode, she's just trying to talk about, you know, her life, her career. Yeah. And they're dropping these OnlyFans hints this whole time. And she just kind of laughs it off and is like, huh, no, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. No, no, no. This is like a rape. It's like a Me Too. And they did this to plus size comp. Uh, who is a plus size novelty oversized model, <laughs> right? Corinna Comp. I don't know if you know who this is. She's an oversized novelty model. Like she's the type of nigger that you would see riding like a mini tricycle with a birthday hat on. She's got triple F's and she's <laughs> dying laughing and her cheeks are triple D's. So they're smashed up. So you got the big F's here, then you got the big D's there, creating these big squashed sunsets of eyes. <laughs> Riding a pig bicycle, right? With a party hat on, and it's <laughs> on the way to a big mound of cake. That's the type of person she is. So if you've never heard of Corinna Kampf, if you ever heard of a novelty Spencer's gift plus size Big fat naked lady on roller skates is a joke because that's the same build that she has. Is this understood? So what are you? What are we saying? Summer so raising. go to 52 minutes in. So like I said, this whole show, they've been like saying this to her, mentioning it, and she doesn't want to talk about it. But at 52 minutes is when it starts to come to a head. Now, again, Summer Rae looks like an actual cartoon dog that's pretty cool that would have, like, sunglasses. A beautiful woman dog. I think she's more of, like, a hip dog. She surfs. She skates. Okay, she's, like, poochie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now Summer Rae's mother is beautiful. She's this uh, Anthony Cumia-style Italian whore woman who's been so badly tanned that her skin is so dried up that every crease has like a million little lines and her skin is so tan and she thinks she's beautiful, but it's like a bunch of saggy, wrinkly tan skin with blue eyeshadow on it. And you're like, oh, your mom is so hot. No, it's just a sickening white trash slut with double Ds who is willing. You know, that's not hot. That's despair when you see somebody like this you're like oh my mom's part of the slut genre too no your mom should be like you know it, and by the way that should take away shouldn't part of it be like i can't believe this woman is doing all this but if your mom is into it she's coming over to help you pick out the photos and the clothes disgusting it's a low life low rent family here she is at summer ray for you very nice thing to say about her and watch what they do. They're going to try to make her do a naked thing. It's re really, really disgusting. It's over the line. Here you go. This booty pic? Yeah. Boom. What? It's, it's like uh, being a fitness model. Oh, you I'm are just flaunting your. your, your I'm, I'm, I'm imagine just, intaking imagine information. Somebody, imagine so you many, saw somebody doing. Is, she doesn't want to do OnlyFans because the stigma of nudity. Yeah, What's yeah, only yeah, is I will that? go on there and I'll sell a booty pic. What's the difference? People are getting it for free on my That's Instagram. What I'm saying. So you should, I think. There's a missed opportunity there's, here. The What's thing the is opportunity with life cost is there's so many... So where Logan and uh, Big Mike, they're very adamant on making sure to get these account signups in by the end of the month. It's like really strange. They're like, please do a pro and con list for me right now about why it would be bad to do OnlyFans. You're already showing your booty online. Why not get paid? No, why not get paid for it? No, stop. <laughs> Why not get paid for it? Seriously. And they're like, oh, I, I guess I will start an only Finally, thank you very much. Like, Do you mind if we this... put you on our email list? Why is this of such interest to I them? don't know. That's what I mean. Why are they? And they're so pushy towards it. You know, I got two theories here. I actually think they might be just this flabbergasted watching people that they know leave money on the table. I think that could be a actual possibility. Like, why do they care so much? Well, have you ever met two guys that are so interested in money that they have money empathy for when people aren't yeah. 
as big a millionaires as they could be. They actually get concerned for people to be multi. Dude, I know a girl. My biggest concern is money empathy. I see a girl right now who's got six million, and I go, she could be making twelve million. Well, call me boxer and lay me to rest. She need influencing. And what do I got here when I rip open my suit? Yeah, the Superman eye for influence. <laughs> I can't just leave this nickel unturned. Nickel who? Nickel boxer. I got my teeth redone to have a more perfect smile for Alex Jones. It's it's absolutely crazy. Oh, by the way, I'm Mike Relish, and I host a hot dog show coming up here on Red Bar. All right? That's why this outfit is a Relish-based theme hot dog outfit. All right? That's why it's so green. All right, so here we are. Keep These playing. are some money men. Listen to this stuff. Gets very greedy here, very sick. No different offense. perspectives she, that people can see stuff from and people can come at me and be like, oh, you're being hypocritical, but you're doing this. You can do that all day long. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, I'm not going to be on there like playing with my vagina. And no, I don't, no, I didn't know where you were going with that. I was like, <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think anyone's <laughs> expecting you to do this. Summer. Okay, good. No. But I, that's the stigma of people that have, like, if you make well, it Yeah, but let me, let, me, let, me, let me say fucking one thing here. It, do you know what you can put in your bank account? Ooh, Money. Listen. You know what you can't put in your bank account? People's assumptions, yeah. stigma, so, okay, guys, fuck that know. shit. And I'm not stigma, society, characters, assumptions. charisma, assumptions, <laughs> jealousy, rudeness, felony. <laughs> um, you know what you can put in the bank account? Money. You know what you can't deposit into the bank account? Your own self worth. The human mind. <laughs> Doesn't fit in that drop slip, does it now? So take your... He has so many bank metaphors lined up for her. All right, Mr. Moneybags, what should she be doing? Selling her nude body to every man, woman, and child just so she could fill her bank account? Count she's people's rich. assumptions. Yeah, she's already read. Stigma. Rich. So, okay, guys, Fuck that up. shit. Let's and now up. I'm not saying to do anything crazy, Summer, but what I am saying is this. You've definitely had some posts removed from Instagram. You've definitely had some posts removed from TikTok. What if you're only fan... Fans is simply the shit that you couldn't Look see on fucking those channels because yeah. it got pulled. Imagine these the Two the Bang boys. Bros. Okay, you might as well Bang Bros. Inc. What is that van that they ride around <laughs> in? I mean, and Logan and Mike have a Sprinter van. The only thing different between this and one of those skeezy POV port. This is no different than Captain Stabbing. <laughs> All we're missing is a boat. And a three CCD chip camcorder. Look at these guys. Yo, girl, you need to get naked for everybody for money that we get a piece of somehow. <laughs> and now it's revealed that Mike does have a chrome tooth. Yes, he's that bad. Mike is so bad that he should have a chrome tooth right here. <laughs> My leg is falling asleep from all the blood loss. How's our hot dogs doing? How long have they Looks been like on for? Looks like it's steaming. They've been on for about. They're warming up, folks. They're warming up. Yeah. 20 minutes. When it's been this 20 clip minutes. is done, then we can eat them. Start well, we'll know them. when they're ready from when hot dog smell is dripping off our <laughs> eyebrows into our eyes burning. <laughs> because our tears now have hot dog spice mixed with them. So here they are, look at these scumbags. Why the vested interest in getting all of their friends? Remember, these are their peers. And they'll put them on the spot in front of millions of people. Why don't you get naked and show us your butt and tit and vagina? The parts we crave to see for money that you must need that you must have certainly you like money i mean it really is there's got to be something wrong with it if not now 10 years from now certainly this is like watching two people try to rape a girl right yes. 10 years I from now this video like that, that you're watching will be like mike david goes over rape blow off snuff film bid 
pulled That's down. That's what I'm saying. The uncut, un, the, the stuff we couldn't show you on those channels. It's right. not porn it's not fucking yeah i'm not doing anything that crazy. i know I but that's what i'm saying i try to keep it a little tasteful that's what I'm saying, you know? summer wood this is us yeah. being just being in friends a, at this point like way. yo dog so you're right. and these yeah. girls can't say they go okay well yeah i think only fans is trash because all their friends because all their buddies it. are on it and they still don't know if they want to use it for some quick cash so they can't ever say it's trash but they'll allude to it they'll get right up to that line they'll be like I don't know. It's just why do I need to do something? Can't you? Respect? I mean, they don't what want do you to. Why they don't would want you? to get naked on camera for strangers. And she already why has, is that not? She has like fifty million followers on yeah. Instagram. She's mega rich already. She already is. She doesn't need to do that. But this used to be a thing where you go, okay, I would never wish somebody had to do that for money. Yes, exactly. And now they're like. If you're not doing this, you're literally a dumb, stupid idiot girl. And what is the point of you if we could just get it for free, you fucking dummy? That's what you think of girls that aren't on OnlyFans. Okay, this is where me and Brittany Venti see eye to breast. That's what I meant. <laughs> Hey, Brittany Venti, isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you want? A bunch of coyote uglies going a wooga? Those things are so big. Can we please? I will pay for a reduction. How about this? Is it wrong to send somebody $30,000 and then when they ask what it's for, you go, please get a breast reduction on me. Please. It's ridiculous. Those monuments. I hate it. I hate a giant whopper like that. Okay, here you go. Here's more stuff here. Giving who, away. Who you're thinks giving, I should make an OnlyFans? Like, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Do you want to make uh, an OnlyFans? Uh, here. I mean, you have. Look at I, these I'm, sales I'm reps. about it because I'm like, what we were saying. I think it's the only reason so I'm not, not is to. because of think, people's assumptions of what I'm doing on yo, the app. Say it again. I'm only not. You can't put it. people's assumptions in your bank account. <laughs> okay, so maybe. But, but that doesn't but mean that morals are. But the thing is, what about brands? What about brands? Are they going to be? Yeah, they, the thing brand, I'm not, you they start your own with the millions of dollars you're going to make. They don't care. No, they don't give a shit, dude. They're like, as long as you're not. As long Brittany Venti's breasts are so big that her bra are two large military-style nets. And her bra is actually being held together by two active service helicopters that are flying the net, holding her breast in place, orbiting her body. Wow. You know where I got that from? That movie King Kong vs. Godzilla. Do you remember that? They're flying. I'll never forget this. They're flying King Kong in nets, like cross country with 12 helicopters. This is where I really fell out of love with the director of this film. It's when they started, they're like, how should we get um, King Kong from Japan to New York? Oh, I know, we'll fire up three helicopters and just tie a net to it. And then he'll lay in the net like a hammock and we'll all fly the helicopters at the same speed and height at once. And that'll carry him, one would never, Wait, True, I thought that it? he traveled on a big ship. There was two parts. Oh, yeah. He was traveling back and forth so much. No wonder he was so exhausted. He probably could have beat Godzilla. Didn't have to do much traveling. He stood no. one part of the lake. King Kong, they had him like, oh, going back and forth, like all the way from Australia to California. It was nuts. I mean, they couldn't have made it any further for him. And he had to go up been back and up and back half the movie was watching him yeah being transported i felt so bad for him in this one and godzilla handsome handsome godzilla talk about a hubba hubba a godzilla for the ladies this time <laughs> handsome godzilla when they did the close-up of his face it was i swear to god it was like i was looking at kylie jenner <laughs> one face when they do the straight I couldn't believe it. I was so inspired. I saw Godzilla versus uh, Martin Luther uh, Kong Jr. 
<laughs> if you want to call them that. I was so inspired. I got into my car, my Jeep, and I went out and hissed at people all afternoon. He has I'm, been hissing yeah, at people a lot. You're not going to believe this. Red Bar, the podcast with the hiss. Okay. Any old classic, like late 80s, 90s slogan, throw that with a Red Bar, the podcast that hisses. Or Red Bar, hiss 107 point. Five, you know, don't mess with this host. He hisses. But for, for those you don't know, this is like my patented move. Uh, you get me in a corner. You get me. Don't get me in a corner because I'll have no other choice than to. So I've been. I got in. I said, you know what? The other afternoon, I go. What should we do today? Where there was nothing to do. It was one of those afternoons. It's so nice out. Let's get outside. I said, you know what? Why don't we get in the car? I'll go hiss at people. She goes, okay. We get in the car and I'm hissing. Probably did about three or four guys. Um, but it was a huge success. Even Jules liked it. It was, uh, I'd pull over to somebody. And right, uh, I mean, I'm driving I'll pull right over. It's a couple, and they're walking on the sidewalk. They're probably three feet from me, enough where we should be masked. And I go, hey, guys, hey, guys. I get their attention. They look, and I go. <laughs> and then we peel out. We're laughing, and you, you can see the guys are going, okay, whatever. Some people <laughs> laugh. Two out of the three couples will laugh. This isn't a joke. We went out hissing. I went and tried it out. So I'll tell you this. Most people start laughing immediately. They find it so funny. <laughs> and they get it. I don't know how they get it, but they're one with the hiss. There was a couple guys. Don't do this to a guy on a date. Big yeah, tough that guy. guy who was like yeah, a the preppy, candy shop. He had like a pink polo yeah. and shorts. Yeah, so a preppy guy, like, preppy dick. He was doing the opposite Rich of dick. Chet Hanks' white boy summer yeah. rules. He was breaking all the rules. He was breaking all the rules. In today's age, looking down upon a hiss is... I mean, come on. That's not pretty cool. Like, um, a confident guy, when he gets hissed at, he goes, dude... That is the shit. Seriously, who are you? What's your name? It doesn't Did matter. Did you invent that? Did you invent that? That is sick, honey. I'm so sorry. I got our date's gonna be weak compared to this. Yes, I mean, and you make a big deal about the guy who hissed. These people I've noticed have been more protective over their own egos, and they won't. Who's with me here? How many people you notice people today in today's day and age are like? more focused on their own ego than the hiss and how great it is. Like, it's happening a lot. Let's talk about it. There's a lot of people out there. So what do you guys think? Have you seen, does the hiss, do you see a lot of people appreciate the hiss or a lot of people still close-minded about the hiss? I hope you're out there hissing like a snake at everyone you see. Not illegal, very explainable if you get pulled over barely reportable it's the perfect way to interject yourself into somebody's life in an annoying way and they can never prove it it's great um you yell at somebody that's obnoxious it's instant you're going down you're not going to win this one if you're yelling at someone you hiss at somebody is that person going to tell on you oh i hey uh, this guy is uh he's what he's uh well he did he do something to you sir well, yeah, in fact, he... Sir, what did he do to you? I need to know, otherwise I can't kick him out. He hissed at us. He hissed at you. Okay, well, you now need to be removed, in fact. You're the one who needs to be removed. There's no way this guy and his wife hissed at you. Come on, shut the fuck up. Someone says, Mike and Jules sitting in, sitting in a Jeep. H-I-S-S-I-N-G. Well, she ducks. She ducks all the way under the seat. Don't give her a lick of credit. No, but, I don't duck. The only time I duck is when you pull up someone where I'm on the side that's close to them, and then you start hissing. They can't even see you. They just see you. So they you. just see me yeah. sitting there well, stupidly. They think I'm doing the hiss. I'm in such a rush to get the reaction from the hiss that I don't think about any logistics. I stop. I hiss. I want them to notice the hiss and say, what in God's green earth is this? You know? And 
again, this ain't coming from a kid, you know, very old. It's the last thing they expect when they see us pull up. Excuse me, sir. And he goes, yeah. And I wait till I see both their eyes meet mine. And then I go. <laughs> and I don't like laugh. I don't let myself. I lock eyes with the guy. <laughs> it's. It's an art. And again, who's getting in trouble for this? Who? Officer, officer, he's hissing at me. Hissing at you? Can you explain? He's going. <laughs> Did he have both hands up or? <laughs> so it's uh, it's really fun. And actually, it's uh, quite easy to lose yourself in a hiss, meaning, all right, try to pull over and look somebody straight in the eye and like say something to them. It's pretty cringe, hard to do. But once you start doing that first, it you have nowhere else to go. So you can meditate and lock into the hiss, blocking out any embarrassment or self-consciousness <laughs> from the people Maybe looking. Maybe you should start a TikTok. Because this is why, by the way, when you're hissing at people, expect a lot of this. And then a consequence at the end, remember, it's not over just because you're out of breath from hissing. They, they could, it usually gives, and even the toughest guy, he's so shocked. You could hiss at him for 40 seconds at the end. He needs about a 12 second turnaround time to figure out what the fuck happened. You're out of there. So you're in no danger. You leave these guys like mm, with a couple of birds chirping, dazed. Try the hiss, report the hiss, film your hiss. How about this? For the next four months, we got a little contest going. Wow. Send in your best hiss. Hiss Scare test. someone, hiss someone at the bank, hiss somebody. Now with COVID, we're going to have to ask that you either be vaccinated or you hiss, hiss via your mask because <laughs> it could look like you're going. Oh, which whoa, is that's spreading probably what the, they think that you're doing. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't be doing the hiss during COVID. <laughs> and I'm usually doing that. You know, I thought it would be funny to start the hiss at a hospital late at night. Oh. No. Oh, God. Oh. I'm really sorry. All right. No hissing. Not till COVID's over. Should we show people what we got cooking here? Look at some of the check in on the hot dogs here. Okay. Pull it over. Let's show people here. Let's check in. Do you want to finish this one first and then we'll do just to keep a little sure. schedule? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I mean, whatever no, you want to do. No, that sounds really nice. No, I'm smiling from ear to ear. Yeah. No, I am. I'm really, I'm having a great time. Does this look strange to be acting like? This is a sweet way to be, be to people. I'm getting we somebody actually made a music video of me acting like this to you. Really? So, well, somebody saw in the beginning of the show, Jules's speakers were on, and I go, we both she oh, started yeah, laughing out of embarrassment. I go, ha 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 ha, you know, and they're like, look how he treats her. So wait till you see this clip here. So let me relish. Let me continue and show you this. They're trying to, oh yeah, they're trying to coerce this poor little Mexican dog into joining OnlyFans, you know, so they could see the insides of her gaping, huge rear end. You know, it's not enough that you just see the outsides of the shape. You need the hole, the hole and the tunneling into her body. So let's hear this. Oh, you're not getting. Okay, you, what you is just, your assumption? If you find you, out girls on OnlyFans, you, are you like all the time? Like, if you find out girl, you, you want to date her, and you find out she's on OnlyFans, oh, you're baby, like, uh, you. this is my this is my answer. Uh, it doesn't matter what I think about what a girl's doing. George. It doesn't matter. If you get on there and you're not comfortable and you feel like you're you're dishonoring See, that's yourself, only part the reason my business partner doesn't want me to do it. He he's like, do it, but if you're not, no money is worth your internal like. Like, you know, it's because once you it. do it and you cross that line, you're disappointed in yourself. And then because it's, like it's a fun. lot of why, people. Why is why is she disappointed in herself? Yeah, wow. like, I'm not trying to because see, Logan is on this kick. We're going to learn this today when we introduce Jason Ellis. You know how like so this is Logan, right? And Logan, this happens very subtly to him. He doesn't know what's happening. So he sees Harry Styles wearing a dress on the cover of Vogue magazine. And there's some uproar. And Logan assesses the situation. He goes, 
Okay, but, well, the popular vote is that the dress is cool, chill out, don't be a fascist. I'm with the dress. And then there's these other people who are, you know what, the dress is a bit far for me, seeing culture come to some, you know, conclusion such as this, a bit far for me. So Logan, he gets off, he goes, you know, I got in such trouble for suicide force that when I see the majority lean one way, I'm going to surprise them with an endorsement. <laughs> Ding! And then it smiles and he smiles and it dings. Because they'll be like, I thought Logan, you know what? Logan is really matured. He's on the side of ultimate reason, which is, you know, like, so for instance, if Harry Styles wearing a dress, the side of ultimate reason is, God, who cares what he's wearing, man? Don't be so hard headed. That's the side of ultimate reason, right? You catch my dress. So ultimate reason here where I got it twisted is sex workers are not meant to be made fun of anymore. No, no, no. Woke America, in fact, steps up, sticks up for sex workers. In my mind, why is selling a nude picture bad? If sex workers are good and I'm being told by the woke that sex worker is no shame, well, then selling a new picture is no shame. And then in my mind, I go, it's actually the reverse. Selling a new picture is a good thing to do. <laughs> so that's where you're getting this from. So when she goes, I don't know, it'll be distasteful if I join OnlyFans. I go like this now. Why is that distasteful? Forgetting everything I ever learned. Mind erased. Mind erased, years 1986 up until 2018, I knew exactly why being an online prostitute could have its downfalls. But now, why is that a bad thing? And that's where they have to be. You know, when you've been so woke, yeah, you are driven into this corner. Is you okay? Well, then, yeah, do it all. Do it all then. So Logan gets a bit confused with things like Jason Ellis sucking on a dick in a illegal sex working glory hole because he heard, oh, sex working. No, no, no. You show respect for that now. Right. Because there's this thing going on. Right. Where it's like, of course, sex why work can't is real work? Why are we shaming people for selling their bodies and trade for cash? They have a family to feed. And then it gets to Logan. By the time it gets to Logan, it's so confused that it's, why shouldn't you be making your daughter get an OnlyFans then? <laughs> Otherwise, you're the problem. So he gets confused. Do you understand? It's yes. subtle. That's what's happening here. Look at it. How it, why would being naked in front of people for money be any sort of problem? This is where he's yes. pretending that's happening now. Listen. Like a lot of why, people. Why is... Why is she disappointed in herself? Yeah, like I'm not gonna do because how much things. money you? Yeah, she's you guys naked. Understand. Every single one of us here makes incredible money, and there's always going to be more opportunity, and there's always going to be the hunger the for money wanting more. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Okay, go ahead. I the mean, money she'll I mean. make. The argument just stopped. Right? The okay, money she'll make Listen. posting for brands that are not hers. I'm not talking about posting brand deals. as I'm she not is about brand. brands, money making, posts, streams, <laughs> lives, clout, coin. Bit envy. These people adopt new internet stuff now. Like the rate has has tripled I, or quadrupled. What is a larger word for doubling times ten? <laughs> These people are so crazy. Like all of a sudden, anything with the word bit in it, they're fully behind because they don't want to look like idiots. So like. Let's pretend yesterday something called like Bit Champion comes out. All of a sudden, Bit Champion, it um, it uh, gives you, and it's all this convoluted thing. Every day it's a new thing where they figure out, oh my God, I got away with Bitcoin. Now I'll do Dogecoin. It's like Bitcoin, but with two more scams allowed. Oh, I can do Dogecoin? Oh, then I'll do NFTs. I can't believe this. Wow, they're letting me do this. And then it comes to all of a sudden I hear Jake Paul go, join me on Bit Champion, you fucking idiot. My G Bit Champion worth is 172 million. 
and you're going, they've already adopted new things. They're like on platforms that we shouldn't be hearing about for the next four years. I mean, they're really every day they're on a new platform. Bit clout is their new thing where people are paying a premium just based on their existence and the fact that they've allowed themselves to be bit people. I'm not kidding. Jake Paul was bragging the other day. He goes, my bit clout is at 171%. Where is yours, may I ask Ben Askren, still at 52? And I'm going, what is this? And then they're showing a screenshot and it says, Katy Perry, bit clout, 152. Jake Paul, bit clout, 107. And then it's showing like a dollar sign and millions of dollars worth of credits. <laughs> And it appears people are involved. And what are you laughing at? This is really weird that they're doing all this bit payment stuff and all this money stuff. Katy Perry and Jake Paul are involved in something called bit clout. I, I'm not making this stuff up. People will tell you who the whole room, by the way, if this were if there was a Christmas themed hot dog holiday, it would be this. It's a beginning to smell a lot like hot dogs in the studio. Can we get it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas karaoke and then we'll pull out the hot dogs. No, you have to finish this clip before you do the hot dogs. So, oh, OK. How much more we got for this? It's beginning Jenko and Mike get in a fight. Okay, write this down, though. It's beginning to smell it, a lot like hot dogs. OK, here's the big fight coming up. Mike and Jenko, good versus evil, we call it, right? Yes. Of the California Devil versus the Arizona Jesus. Here we go. She is posting for brands that are not hers. Okay. Companies Smelling that good are not here. hers Got it. will pale in comparison to doing it herself, making 10 times more money, building her own brand on the platform that she That's gets just... paid to do. Got it. Totally understood. But again, I'm throwing money out of the window. Yes. Why don't Because do that? I don't care about money. I was kidding. I just was, mm. This is what I'm thinking. See, that's my downfall in life. If I cared about money, I'd be on. Every single person who's not me is always like, Summer, I care about money. I'm thinking about money. I'm thinking about money. Shut up, ho. Get on that OnlyFans and open up that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you bitch. Maybe these boys got a point. Yeah, get on that computer and make that money. People want to see your parts. You fucking dog. If you were a fucking poodle, I'd kick you square in the neck. Fuck. <laughs> Imagine that. You're walking a poodle through like a beautiful Beverly Hills neighborhood and people are like, oh, I love your dog. And you're like, oh yeah, you love it. Bah! Right in the head. In front of everybody. They'd be appalled. Trust me, people scream when they see stuff like that. All right, so check this out. Look how they're treating this girl. If I, if I were you, I'd be on that shit. But it's just like money doesn't rule my life. Oh, this is oh, why you're the only. Oh, oh. This is, you're literally one of the only girls oh, in LA that has their shit together. And to then get Logan, she's like, "Well, money doesn't rule my life. That's really why I'm not." And Logan's like, "Oh, so money rules our lives? Oh, Logan, money rules our lives. Yes, yes it does. What you've you're been not this whole time. Logan thinks he's like an artist at core that just happened to have made money. Like Logan doesn't realize he's. The complete opposite of art. Logan is what happens if like a shop vac. It, it, Logan would be like if you had an artist who had like a ton of fans. And then what you did is smashed the shop vac through this artist's chest. And then took his dead body with the giant shop vac hose and sucked up all the money from the artist's fit. That's what Logan is as far as this transaction of human beings goes, as far as Logan having any money, all that money he's collected has been from evil deed in nefarious purpose and the bending of a decision and the bending of a moral. You know, he made like $200,000 off selling masks. When coronavirus first came, we're a mask maverick. He don't wear a mask. He hates masks. He's anti-mask. He hates it. He was the first person. As soon as he heard about this disease, he said, how could I screen print my logo onto the bandage that they used to, you know, 
It's sick. It's sick. I said I would never come out with them. Oh, hey, man, when can we get Red Bar masks? Imagine printing your fucking logo. On a medical product. On a medical product that is no different than a flu. You know? It's insane. And so Logan did that. Every dime he's scraped together has been kind of, you know, it's not illegal. He goes right up to the line of illegal. Hey, yo, what's too beneath illegal? Hey, why do you want to know that, Logan? Because that's what I will do. They'll do one beneath illegal. I won't do illegal because that would be bad, I get. How could I make money if I in jail? I'll do one beneath illegal though. Actually two, 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 two. I'll do two beneath illegal. Yeah, facts. Stay out of there, stay out of the radar. Smart head. All right, watch what they do to this girl. Together and that's then, happy. Then, then what the fuck? We, we suck then. No, but hold on a second. I, this why? is my I last summer. It's like a lot of people don't have a rock. They don't have a foundation. They come up here. It's so much distractions. There's so much stuff happening. They don't know what to do. They get into drugs. Mm. They start Ooh. chasing guys. They It's like they get blinded by the lights. It's like where I have like a rock. I have a solid relationship with like Jesus where it's like if I ever get like, what do I do? It's like I have someone. That blinded by the lights uh, saying was actually that was a paid sponsorship. We <laughs> like to... Hashtag, yeah, that was from, uh, what's his name? Avery, Aubrey? Abel. Abel, Abel. <laughs> oh, Abel, he's so talented. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the we and we bow to him as if he's Beethoven. And he's been around forever. Oh, the weekend, of course. We bow to you, Weeki. His friends, his nickname with his friends is Weeki. That's what I call him, at least. He don't know me, but he will. Relationship with, like, Jesus, where it's like, if I ever get, like, what do I do? It's like, I have someone that I, you know, like, you know what of I mean? Course, it's, I, like, on it's like a rock. Percent. It's like I have, like, foundation where a lot of people don't have that. My so. my final point on it is, uh -oh. all, Look at these all, boys. All, like, no, stop. First of all, no. I didn't say any. I said nothing. I didn't even raise my hand Look for at you. Logan. He's like, I am God. And you could see Logan and Big Mike, they almost get, like, bro. What are we doing now? She's not buying into our OnlyFans pitch. Do we go for it? All right, let me ask you this. My final point here. Without OnlyFans, how are you going to make it through 2000? Exactly. You don't know where you'll be. Join today. Just sign. Just sign. Sign. What is his interest? Why? And they really, they go through like three stages of asking. And you can see they're a little mad. They look beat up like a car salesman when you walk out. Because this is a car salesman when you finally leave and they realize they didn't get in that car today. This is them. Thanks. That's how they act. Like a car salesman, you got to keep your cool, but you are fucking pissed. No, listen, Summer. <laughs> Summer. You're I looking at so him. Much. What? Summer. Satan, go ahead. Focus. <laughs> listen to me for a fucking second. Man's play. If you <laughs> God, if focus. you were just a if you were just a girl who wasn't shaking her booty, listen you were this. say you were a corporate chick and you were and you were a CFO at a at a small firm, right? And they were like, yo, if you do OnlyFans, there's big money there. And you're like, damn, but I don't know if I want to risk the corporate life. I don't yeah. know if I want to go down that that tube, right? But then there's just simple business decisions and utilizing oh. content you're trying to already post but can't because mm -hmm. the platforms won't oh, let you to make you millions of <laughs> motherfucking dollars, Summer. It's no different than what you're already posting. Yeah. You're just, the only reason you're saying no to it is because you think there's a stigma around it yeah. that, by the way, there doesn't is. really fucking exist. It this exists. Is, this, is the, so, this is the start to an avalanche of a mindset. Of what? Oh, it is terrible, terrible. Really? Decision. Tell terrible me why. Decision. Tell me why. Look at this, George versus fight, Mike. Fight, fight, George fight, versus fight, Mike. Fight. This is the start of an avalanche of bad decisions. Oh, yeah? Name one. Um, It's terrible. It's perverted. It's... I said name one, not two. <laughs> I don't know how Big Mike doesn't realize this. It's like, yeah, there are ways people can make money. By breaking their morals. <laughs> like, yeah, I could go out and rob a bank. Dude, 
You wouldn't kill a guy and steal all his money if you couldn't get caught? No. Come on! Why? You're not going to get caught. Why won't you kill him and steal it? Because of the morals. Fox. He doesn't understand why a girl wouldn't sell nude I mean, video. why doesn't he post videos yeah. of him jacking off yeah. and getting why, fucked why in the not? ass? You're why not? You're leaving money on the, on the table. Why would you leave money on the table, you dummy? This is what their mind is right now. He must be stopped, and he will be on today's Nobody Likes Hot Dogs Extravaganza. Because George, your motive is money. Me, no, stop. Power. That's First all you of all, want. I'm money throwing something out there. Money don't ever, don't politician. ever. What stop, kind of stop. Let me, no, let me, OnlyFans. stop. Let me defend myself. First of all, don't ever fucking make an assumption about me. That's it. I'm not a make, I'm, I'm listening. It's like, it's like, Hold on, Logan. Let me finish this. First of all, don't ever make an assumption uh, an assumption about me that is. Janko said he's all about money and power. Janko goes, he's all about money and is that what he said? Yeah, go I gotta back. hear that. Janko goes, he's all about money and power. And <laughs> Look at how he reacts. Oh my god! First of all, don't ever make an assumption about me that is incorrect. Only assumptions that are true around here. So this is a legit fight. Janko is too stupid to realize. Because Logan and Mike are like, why is he saying this? Doesn't he understand? I keep going. George, shut up. But Logan and Mike also don't have the nerve to go, Janko, you're on our payroll. Just agree with us. So they're stuck between this place where they almost want Janko to know that they're good guys. But they also are at the same time like, are you kidding me? This fucking midget is going to front us. <laughs> he is nothing to us. But they can't let Janko know that. They're really fucked. Watch this. This is the so this is the start to an avalanche of a mindset. Of what? Oh, it is terrible, George? terrible. Really? terrible really? Tell terrible me why. Decision. Tell me why. Because George, your motive George, is money. Me, no, stop. Power. That's First all you of want. All, your I, motive is money and power. First of all, nobody explain my motive to people <laughs> unless you've got a signed form from me. <laughs> Dude, my money is motive and power too. Your money is motive and power? Bro, I don't care. Money, motive, power, corruption. I want it all. Why do you want it all? Oh my God, yeah. Why do I want it all, though? Never thought about that. Yo, that kid's smart. Never mind. All right, watch this shit. Throwing something out there. Money don't ever, don't ever stop. Kind of stop. Let me no. Let me only stop. Control. Let me what defend kind of myself. Power? First of all, don't ever fucking make an assumption about me. That's it. I'm not a make. I'm, I'm listening don't, to what you're saying. It's fucking correct. We're having it's literally word for word what you're saying. In, money and power is my only motive in life. <laughs> yes, I, I need that as a clip. <laughs> money and power is my <laughs> only motive in life. <laughs> Are you Kumia's kid? Yeah, I was just Are you Kumia's? Money and power is my only value in life. Listen, we're having it's literally a word for word what you're saying. In, money and power is my only motive in life. I am. I Wait, love let him it. Say it. Yeah, I want to hear more. I'm trying to get this. Money and power is the only I'm motive in life. What he says next. We're having it's literally a word for word what you're saying. In, money and power is my only motive in life. I am <laughs> that's egotistical, only... man. I will take over the. That's not what I'm saying, George. <laughs> I am egotistical, <laughs> man. <laughs> I am egotistical, man. <laughs> Egotistico, man. You are. What do you mean? Yeah. Who do you think you are? <laughs> you're that man, whoever that is. I didn't know you actually. Oh, my God. You're the same guy as Egotistico, man. <laughs> we got him, folks. Egotistico, man. I always unmasked. wondered who <laughs> Egotistico, man was. The worst, greediest guy in L.A. I always <laughs> thought I'd never unveil his identity. Wow. A big admittance by Mike. Big Mike admits he is egotistico man <laughs> who's been plaguing LA's shops and storefronts for the last three months. <laughs> egotistico man revealed. <laughs> Finally. The uh, what do they call that? The The unmasking. The unmasking, but the identity of yes. egotistico man is somebody post this a clip. Identity of egotistico man. <laughs> Revealed. Big Mike. Nobody knew. Even Logan is surprised. Dude, you are egotistical, man. This whole time? But dude, I even had a whole night out with egotistical, man. 
He said some things to me that you never said. <laughs> oh, come here. You know I can't hate you because of you, Kyle. I've, it is I getting, have... it stinks of hot dog. And I'm like, what is that smell? Uh, we play a little bit more. Okay. You tell me, I can't wait to show them. I think I, I could eat a dog or two soon. I'm actually really hungry. This whole hot, I, it smells like a pretty fun place. I didn't I have mean, my pre-show lunch today, so I'm fucking famished. Actually. I'll tell you what it smells like. You ever been to an ice skating rink? You ever gone up and gotten, oh, I'll take the nachos. Oh, I'll take a hot cocoa. The nachos, a super rope. I want to set up a concession stand for the show. Is that, you know, I it wouldn't make sense for it to be the main backdrop, but what about a B backdrop? Like you get the main set here, but then off to the side is a concession stand set where I do. Like Rhett and Link. Vibes, like Rhett kinda, and Link studio. Yeah. Good mythical morning to you. <laughs> Wait, you want to hear my Irish impression? Sure. Good mythical morning to you. Good. That's good. <laughs> it's an Irish guy like a leprechaun. Good mythical morning to you. Okay, so what are these NFTs talking about now? Because I want to wrap this They're up. I gotta show people that. You can show more of their fight in the Here's we'll the fight. Up. Here's the big fight. Big Mike, small J. Let's see what happens. I'm That's egotistical, only... man. I will take over the. That's not what I'm saying, George. <laughs> We're having a fucking conversation here. Rel Stop. Oh. Let me just I finish. Say, okay. I just had one word. Let me finish oh, what wow. I'm saying here. Okay, go ahead. If I told... She's having a whole battle with George. You know, every time he starts fighting with George, he's also having an inner dilemma with himself over how he can't believe he's fighting with this midget George. You know, so he's going nuts on two different scales. He's like trying to yell at George, but then he's also kicking himself or even having to be around George. That's why it never comes out quite nicely. And uh, George is blown away. You know, they try to make a bit out of this as if Big Mike and George fighting is like a bit for the show. It is not a bit. George is under attack. Big Mike fucking can't stand him. Who could? If I were Big Mike, I'd hate him too. You're nothing to me, I'd think. I'd so, love him. So watch this. Oh, man, I will take over the... That's not <laughs> what I'm saying, George. We're having a fucking conversation here. Relax. Stop. Let me just I finish. Say, I okay. just had one word. Let me finish oh, what I'm saying here. Okay, go ahead. If I told you right now, George, mm -hmm. you love Jesus. Yes. You talk about Jesus on this podcast. There is a platform where you could make way more money talking about Ooh. Jesus. Yes. Wait. Why and you, you wait. because I know, because I look at the depth she goes. Let me uh, make an, and I love, you don't have to make an analogy, bro. We're not six. You know, we understand all right, George, what's going what if on. there was a place where you can make way more money? If you have to whisper something about money, it's a scheme, okay? <laughs> That's how you know it's a scheme. Like, dude, imagine you could go to a place where you could make way more money. Whose ears shouldn't hear this? The customers? Why the, well, it really didn't break that down psychologically. Why is he whispering that part? Truly, I bet a psychological bookman could go, yes, he actually knows that the money part is a scheme, and that's why he, in fact, is whispering. Wait, look at it. his devilish face. Oh, yeah. never mind. You went back. No. You can make more money. Case closed. If you can make more money on something, it doesn't matter what it is or what you do. Talking about Jesus. Yes. Wait. And you, you wait I'm because I know because I know you're chomping at the fucking bits here. OK, no, I can patiently wait okay. for you to finish. Why would you not go and talk about the things you're already talking about for money? Do you understand what I'm saying right now? Yes. OK, so what what's are the you problem? understanding what she is saying? See, you're so hard headed that you're not listening Whoa! to what I'm saying. I didn't throw out any insult to you. Why are you throwing insults at me? Yeah, I was a bit fucked Whoa. up. OK, I'm sorry. You're so hard headed. Why are you throwing insults at me, bro? I'm being very, very strict with what is an insult meant <laughs> to me today, by the way. I'm being hard-headed. Insult number one, your honor. And why should I debate with somebody who's throwing insults? When you're losing an argument, your honor, make sure the insults mean more than they say they do. Pro tip. Insult. Off the record. That's how you know somebody's losing when they're claiming, oh, they're being insulted. Okay, you're being, yes, of course. 
Any argument to me is insulting. You know how some people go, hey, it's just an argument amongst two adults. You know, we could. No. It's if an you, insult. We're even arguing right it, now. If you disagree with me on any level, I am insulted <laughs> and furious. So if I go, all light switches are brown. And you go, actually, my. Don't even start with me. You're on it's an my insult. You're on my death list already. Any person who even thinks about disagreeing with something that I got going through my mind, you're a proven enemy. So stop with this. Okay, watch this. Here's where it gets bad. And then it's time to check in on the hot dogs. It smells great in here. I wish we had you ever hear a host. I wish we she had, had smell -o -vision. vision Why would it be vision? I'm inventing something. You know why smell -o vision doesn't exist? Because you can't see smells. <laughs> Idiots. I'm inventing smell -o hearing <laughs> Wait, no. No, not hearing either. You wouldn't want to <laughs> oh, use I thought that you were using that as a dumb no. example. Oh my God, no. See, this is why it's so hard to present smell over electronics. Because we get hung up. The inventors themselves get hung up. You got smell -o vision you, Yeah, you can't see smell. You're never going to see smell. And then you had me even try to introduce smell -o hearing Nope. That's a big mess up. You can't hear a smell. The only way for smell -o vision to work would be for to make it so that people could smell it through the TV. Meaning you would have to put in a device, it would have nothing to do with vision. It's a misnomer. Excuse me? You're thinking of Mark Norman. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, these two assholes, they're trying to convince a poor girl to get butt naked. Showing it all, that big brown rear end looking like two of my hot dogs, by the way. And uh, side by sides. Wait till you hear this shit. It's just disgusting that men are doing this in the 90s. When talk about the things you're already talking about for money. Do you understand what I'm saying right now? Yes. Okay, so what's what are the you problem? understanding what she is saying? See, you're so hard headed that you're not listening to what I she's saying. I didn't throw out any insult to you. Why no. are you throwing insult? So she is twirling her hair and chewing bubble gum during this and talk. And she obviously agrees with Jenko because every time she's speaking, she looks at Jenko for encouragement yeah. and for well, help. She's from exactly him. like those GTA women in the role-playing game. There's like two gangsters that come up, they're talking, and then there's just some big booty hoe snapping her bubble gum. And it's amazing that he had been an influencer at this level. They take a backseat to the guy influencers. Like they trust these guys. They're like, these guys are smart. We better listen to them. Charlene. Yeah, that was a bit fucked up. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank having you. A conversation. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Listen, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. <funny. Yeah. laughs> two against one right here. Go, go. No, no, this no. is every day. No, every no, fucking no, day. No, no. Every oh, really? fucking day. Listen, no, listen. I'm neutral. Listen, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. You can't throw away Beavis your and Butthead. He watches the bar. Look at that. Hey, Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, see, Jenko, he's kind of fed up with these two. He's been kind of outspoken lately, this Jenko.